Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMDA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where the green line here is coming from. And today started off pretty terribly. I mean, if you're gonna shoot straight, but to then give full credit to the bulls, they had an excellent comeback. So again, each one of these represents 30 minutes. I bring that up because this candle here represents the first 30 minutes. This candle here represents that second 30 minutes. And you can see after that first hour was done, price was all the way down there and not really the greatest start. But again, to give credit to the bulls, by the time the closing bell had come about, the price had fought back up above that 40 cent mark, which was important, and you know is now sitting up above it. Yeah, the final 30 minutes, you had some sellers show up, but taking a step back, looking at the day as a whole, uh, you know, I think, and I, I can speak for everybody, and I say, you know, having the price close up here is much better than having the price close down there, worse yet for the price to have continued to go down uh, you know, to the, to the bearish side of things. So overall, rough start, but good solid close for the bulls and the overall trend is still fully intact. Now I realize that's a general statement about the trend being intact and that's the cool thing about charts though is they allow you to take general statements and then assign and quantify numerical values to them. And the way I am kind of measuring the you know intactness, if you will, of the trend is with that purple line right there, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average. You can see over the, you know, the past few weeks that there's been many instances where the price has flirted down around that area. And every single time the price has done a good job of maintaining the support, including today. So sure, the price temporarily broke below it, but the bears were never able to close the price down below it, let alone push to the downside. So that purple line there is fully still in play. And as long as that remains the case, then yes, the overall trend is intact in the bull's favor. What about levels of resistance? So the key area of resistance right now at this point in time there's a couple, but I'm just gonna focus on one because I'll explain that in a second, but that's gonna be right up here at the 50 cent mark. Reason I'm only talking about one level is at this point, top priority needs to be consolidation, building that higher base, which so far so good, 40 cents continues to hold. So uh, that'll be the primary focus in my opinion, going into tomorrow and then next week. So nice recovery to the, uh, today by the bulls. We'll see if they can build upon that momentum and maybe get a close up above 50 tomorrow. We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.